Hey, this is Visions of Rock, and we're talking to Joel Madden from Good Charlotte. Hey, Joel, thanks for hanging out with us for a minute. Thank you for having me. So we sent you the Nikon D60. Have you liked shooting with that? Yeah, it's really cool. It's a really nice uh, camera. It makes me feel like a professional photographer. How's that working out? Oh, it's great. I, I love it. I've been learning how to kind of shoot in different lights and stuff. It's just really easy to use, but it's an awesome camera. The thing about that camera is the presets are pretty easy to work with. Is that right? Yeah, it's really an easy camera to use, but it takes professional pictures. Really, the pictures that I've gotten out of it make me feel talented. <laughs> well, obviously you are, and everyone thinks of you as a musician. But how did you first get interested in photography? Most of the pictures I've been taking since I've really gotten into taking pictures has been since my daughter was born. I just take a lot of pictures all the time at home of just being at home with her or, or uh, with my girlfriend. And then on the road, I've been setting up pictures on stage before the show. I'll set the camera off the side of the stage. And then I was getting my girlfriend and my friends to take the pictures when we were doing the show. Do you find that certain ones are better than others? I mean, to you, what makes a great photo? Really, it's hard to predict like what's going to be a good photo. A lot of times you just have to take photos and then the next day when I'm looking through the photos, you'll find a great photo. It's kind of like hard to predict when it's going to be a good photo. I've been having my girlfriend take a, a whole roll of the whole show and then there was like three great pictures from that night even though she took like a hundred pictures. Do you see any connection between photography and your songwriting? I don't know if I connect it with, with songwriting. For me, it's like there's these memories you get while you're on stage, and this tour in particular has been a really great tour. Some of the shows have been really, really awesome and really uh, special. And capturing those moments, it's hard to do, especially on tour, because unless you have a photographer traveling with you, it's hard to have someone doing that all the time. But this experience has been cool because it's kind of forced me to do that, and I really, really love it because it gives me those memories to put on my wall. And, you know, to actually have a story to go with the picture, it's cool. Do you feel that your camera or what you're shooting is more important? Obviously, a nicer camera is going to take nicer pictures and the quality is going to be different. But I really think that with photography, you could take a disposable camera sometimes and catch the moment. And that happens by accident, I think. You just have to shoot and hope that you catch it. And then you'll look through them and you'll find like one moment that's just really special. And you obviously have a lot of inspiration in your own life to motivate you to take those pictures. Yeah, I have such a new family and so much stuff to capture. It's important to me to try to get it off. Tell us about the charity you're shooting for. The Richie Madden Children's Foundation. It's a foundation me and my girlfriend started when we were pregnant with Harlow. We kind of wanted to start a foundation that she could be a part of and kind of grow up around. And it's something that is important for us as a family and as parents to bring happiness to kids and better the lives of children worldwide. UNICEF asked me to be an ambassador, so we work with them now, and it's, it's really cool. It keeps growing and growing. It's just been a great experience, you know, love doing it. That's great to be able to do something passionately that's obviously very personal to you. Yeah, it's great. Well, thank you, Joel, for hanging out with us. It's been great to hear from you. Oh, thank you. This is Visions of Rock.